Hey everybody. Okay, so today's gonna be a real quick outfit of the day. Um, again, it is raining outside, and it's actually raining pretty bad today. It's been all going all day nonstop, and I decided to wear some shredded jeans and some combat boots. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see a picture. Because it's raining, I won't be able to take pictures in the backyard. So <laughs> that's that. Um, I just have on this cream spaghetti strap tank top. And this oversized boyfriend cardigan, this long sleeve. And I got this from the Gap. The tank is from Forever 21. And the jeans are almost famous. And I got these at Ross. They were like $20, uh, $17.99. And I remember Miss Diva like was talking about how these are like her favorite jeans. And I see why because <laughs> they fit so nicely. But that's the cardigan. And girl, I was like, yes, you better, you better show them curves, Matt Bodhi. She got it, don't. No, <laughs> I tried it. Um, yes, but I actually get a lot of questions on my, uh, my waist. Right now I'm sucking it in, but, um, post baby, like I said, you guys, I'm naturally thin. So I'm not going to show you my stretch marks. But um, breastfeeding does help your uterus go back to its pre-pregnancy state. And I do have like a couple of inches, like a whole inch of uh, flab that just hangs over that probably will never go away. I, if, if I would have to actually get surgery to remove it or to get it. Tell me to, to tighten it up because the baby was so big. Um, he was my biggest baby. He was 8 pounds, 10 ounces. I gained 50 pounds solid on my 5'1", 103 post uh, pre-baby frame so you know that was a lot on me and it stretched my skin out a lot I even got more stretch marks in the like closer to my vaginal area I was like where do these come from so now it looks weird but it's fine it was all for a good cause um as long as I had a nice chunky healthy baby that's all I was concerned about so I'll take those stretch marks any day but um yeah that's basically it for that um and I just wear the cardigan because I'm with my kids so yeah, I the cardigan is just easier, but the leather I would pay it with the leather jacket if I was gonna go out. It's just another way to wear it. This this is like way more edgy though, and I like to keep it simple. So I just opted for a cardigan. Let me show you the whole thing. So yeah, this is it. And. Y'all yeah, know I don't go nowhere without this cross body bag. Because, honey, I got to put my snacks in there. Really? I'm struggling over here. Okay. As far as my hair is... <laughs> I need a cameraman. Okay, now as far as my hair is concerned, this is a homemade wig I made. Um, I used this Afro curl hair I got about two years ago, right when I had Eli, and I just sewed it on. I sewed it onto a wig cap, and I washed it, and then I put these big flexi rods in it to like give it a curl, like to to flip it to give it some shape. So this is it, though. You can see the closure right here. Right there, there's the closure. And I've worn this wig before. I just put um my postpartum shedding is giving me blues. It's making me sad. Because I can't really do my hair like I want to because of the oh let me fix this bang. Okay. Stay. Well, I can't really do my hair like I want to because of the uh shedding. Like I can't pull my hair back in high buns or anything like that because my temples are like bare and my hairline is like Looking like LeBron James, little sister around here. I mean, he and I are related, you know, <laughs> as far as that hairline is concerned. But um, I have been set back to my um, Jamaican black castor oil. And somebody told me to try biotin shampoo, so I may give that a go. And we'll see how it works out. But yeah, that's my outfit of the day. Um, let me get out of this leather jacket handy because I'm sure I ain't going to put no leather jacket on right now.
I gotta run to the fresh and easy to pick up some snacks. So I will get stuck. Uh, to fix, pick up some stuff for dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Bye. Oh, and on my lips is Ruby Woo by Mac. Just in case somebody was wondering. Bye.